bestie. Welcome to today's belly dancing class. We're going to learn a few moves today, but first off, we need to start with something so important. Like if you don't start with this, there's like no point in dancing. So you are going to start with appreciation for your body. You're going to look yourself in the mirror. If you have a mirror, I'm looking at a screen right now. So you need to appreciate that your body is able to move. And honestly, when we dance, this is just like a token of appreciation that our bodies can move. And to be honest, I know, you know, like in today's day and age, the beauty standards are absolutely ridiculous. And sometimes you can get in your head about it and you can start having body image issues when you're <laughs> completely flawless. So dancing just helps you realize that you are absolutely a work of art. Okay, you're what? You're a work of art. So you need to appreciate your hands when they move. Appreciate your chest. Appreciate your, your hips. Appreciate your legs. And I know if, 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 if it's hard for you right now, and trust me, I understand body image issues <laughs> firsthand, you need to tell yourself, it's like, okay, you know what? You're going to lie to yourself. You're going to what? You're going to lie to yourself. You're going to tell yourself, okay, if I don't think I'm pretty right now, at least my body can do cool things. Okay? So instead of scrolling on social media or you know, looking at models that we don't look like them because they don't even look like them. You're going to, you know, just take a second, appreciate your body, appreciate that you're happy, appreciate that you're, you're healthy, okay? You're healthy enough to move. I don't care if you can only move your eyelashes, you're, you can move. And that is something we take for granted. Like we have muscles in our body that we don't even know about because we don't move them. So just take, take a moment of appreciation. And if you don't think that you look pretty right now, <laughs> first of all, you're telling yourself lies. But if you must tell yourself lies, you, you know, this is a thought that really helped me personally. It's like, okay, if I'm not pretty, at least my body can do cool things. And that honestly, one day at a time, that gets you to a better mental place and then you'll start believing that you're pretty. So let's get into the dance, okay? We've appreciated ourselves. We've appreciated our bodies. Our bodies can do really cool things, even if it's just standing up, man. Like, that's amazing. Like, appreciation for yourself, for your body is really big in this class, okay? So... I want you to stand up, and even if you're in bed right now, get up, get up, get up. We're going to stand up. We're going to take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. I want you to get into your belly dancing position. And all that means is you're not locking your knees. You're not overly bending them either. You're just slightly bending them, okay? You don't want your booty like out. You want it tucked in, all right? And you want your chest just a little bit risen. Like, make sure you don't have, like, a like a slouched back. We're all guilty of that. Just, just you know, like, just raise your back. Or just, like, stand up straight, basically. So, the first, the first move that I love to always start off with is your knee shimmy. Because no matter how crummy you feel right now, how crummy you feel, you can alternate your knees. It's not hard. Everybody can do it. Okay? It's really easy. If you're in a bad mental space right now, I understand. I feel for you. Been there. Done that. Some days I'm still there. But I want you to stand and just alternate your knees with me. Doesn't have to be perfect, honey. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? You can pick up the speed as you feel comfortable. Okay? We're not, this class, we are not about perfection on this page and this class. We're not about perfection. We're just, you know, taking it one day at a time. So all you're doing is alternating your knees, okay? Side, alternating your knees. That's all you're doing. Look at it from the side, 
alternating your knees. No matter who you are, you can alternate your knees. I'm not telling you to go fast yet. Woo you can go as fast as you want. Like at, when you get comfortable with like the slow speed, then you can go ahead and pick up the pace. I'm not the best at going super fast um, or holding it for like long periods of time, but just let your body jiggle, okay? Once you pick up the speed, just let your body jiggle. It's supposed to be fun, okay? It's supposed to be what? It's supposed to be fun. You're letting out the anxieties. You're letting out the depression. You're getting over Karen from work that pissed you off and you've been pissed off for two weeks. Let it go, sister. Let it go. Okay? Somebody broke your heart. Some stupid boy broke your heart. Let it go. This is a shimmy. The shimmy to let things go. Okay? The shimmy to do what? Let things go. Anything that does not serve you anymore, let it go. Okay, negative thoughts. What are negative thoughts? We do not do negative thoughts here, okay? Just let it go. Whoo -hoo. Okay, let it go. Anything you cannot control. You're mad that, I don't know, your second cousin doesn't talk to you, let it go. Screw your second cousin. You don't even have to talk to them. Bye, Felicia. Just let it go. Whoo -hoo. And honestly, this is just, like, if you're outside and doing this on grass barefoot, that's double the points. Double the points if you are doing this outside barefoot. I am wearing heels right now because I thought they, were, they looked cute with my outfit. But if you're outside and able to do it on, like, dirt or grass, that's double the points. I believe they call that grounding. But you feel so much better after you walk outside barefoot, so... Okay, we're just trying to feel better. Hoo -hoo. And then add some, you know, if you're comfortable, add some arm movement. All I'm doing here with my hands is just, you know, rotating them in circles. Okay, if you're tired of rotating back and forth, go ahead and rotate your, your, your hips, okay? All you're doing is you're rotating your hips. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you're a beginner, if you're really a beginner, you want to take your hip and hit right, front, left, backwards, right, front, left, backwards, and just roll it out. Smooth it out. Okay? Woohoo! The more you do it, the better your hips will be able to roll, okay? Now do it the other way. This one really, like if you're angry, this is a good way to let your anger out. Just let all that anger out. Let the anger out. You don't want anger. Hoo -hoo. If you're angry at yourself, let it out. Angry at somebody else, let it out. Angry at your dog. Don't get angry at the dog, but let it out this way, okay? Okay? Whoo, this one's good for anger. Let out the anger. Okay? Whew. If you're, oh, this one's actually kind of hard because I can't do it the left side. Um, but if you want to move, like, your chest in circles, you're going to hit one, two, down, and side. Whoo, -hoo. just like that. Okay? We'll make more detailed tutorials, but... Oh, look at that. We're doing it to the left. Woohoo! Okay. And my absolute favorite. Are you ready? Hands up. Little bit of a bend. This is, like, literally my absolute favorite. Ready? One, two. Down. Down. Bam! Aggressive hip drops. Like, all you're doing is drop it. Drop it. Drop it, drop it. Aggressive hip drops. And basically, you're just moving your body how you feel fit. I know I threw in a lot of uh, moves in there, but you do what makes your body feel good. Our objective is not to be professional dancers. Our objective is to appreciate ourselves and improve our mental health. So, love you.